Hi, this is John Lackness from the U.S. Sales Office of Broadcast Depot. In the beginning, there was the band scanner, and it was good. Now Diva Broadcast brings us the Band Scanner 2, the upgraded and more versatile scanner and monitor. And we're looking at it on this edition of BD Inside. The Band Scanner 2, like the original Band Scanner, is a tool designed to make mobile field measurement while driving. It also serves to verify all parameters embedded in the carrier of the FM stations being measured. It's an excellent tool for the maintenance of the FM stations, verifying that all the parameters are within the established norms. Uh, it's easy to use, it gathers a ton of information, and that's why we're going to unbox the Band Scanner 2 and see what's inside. We're going to start at the top, a little white box on here because this is how it comes from the factory. Let's see what we've got inside. It's kind of like Christmas. You never know what you're going to find. And inside we see a GPS antenna. This will slide open. And inside this box we are going to find the software, we have an instruction manual, a little packing material on top, and then inside here is a mini USB cable which is used to power the, the device. The band scanner too, you can see very small, very handheld, very portable for your use, and then the included FM antenna which we'll talk about here in just a second. The view of the Band Scanner 2 is quite simple. Now, if we look on the back of this, there is a USB connector. It connects from here to a Windows-based PC. Now, it not only sends your data from the Band Scanner 2 to your PC, the mini USB also sends power to the Band Scanner 2 from the PC. Now the LED lights will show what's going on at a glance. The USB LED is gonna be lit when the USB is attached and is connected to a PC. The antenna LED is, of course, when you have an antenna chosen, and that's from the preferred input that you choose from the software. The LED is gonna be lit on the multiplex when it's chosen, also from the software. And then finally, the GPS LED, a little bit different in what it's gonna be indicating. Uh, it's not gonna be lit when the GPS module is turned off. It's gonna blink when the GPS module is turned on and there's no GPS fix and it's gonna be constantly lit when the GPS module is turned on and there is a GPS fix. Now on the back of this, there are three connectors. First, there is the FM antenna. It's a 50 ohm BNC connector for the antenna input from the included antenna. We'll show this here in just a few minutes. The GPS antenna connector is for the consumer standard SMA connector for the GPS antenna right here. And then finally, we have a 50 ohm BNC connector for the composite multiplex input. Okay, we've unboxed it. Now let's hook it up and see what this can do. We're gonna start off by hooking up the GPS antenna that is included with the band scanner too. Get this all hooked up. And we're gonna have a little action here in just a minute. The included FM antenna goes on this end, BNC connector. We will turn and extend it as we need it. On the other side, as we had said before, we have the mini USB connector, which is going to supply the power to this from the computer. Now, we see the blinking light showing that there is the uh, USB up here. We need to start up our software and take a look at how all this is going to work together. One little note about this is that this takes a PC in order to do this. Unlike the Radio Explorer 2, which you can put on your dash and it will take and store all the information before you download it to a PC. So that is the difference between these two. So let's go ahead and open up the included uh, software. And as we do so, and it will acquire, you will see the antenna and the multiplex and the GPS start up in just a second. And there we go. The software has just now opened up. You can see the light has gone solid. And now we see that the antenna and the GPS have acquired. 
All right, we've got it all hooked up. Let's take a look in the software and let's take a look at what we can actually see as we look on the screen. A very good compact view of everything that is going on with the band scanner too. We can move over a screen. Here's your main. You're showing your uh, your RF, your RF strength, your multiplex, uh, multiplex power, the uh, pilot injection level. Uh, there's RDS. There's your bit error rate, left and right, left plus right, left minus right, and a uh, uh, LED display for multipath. Next one over, just a, a, a graph indication. Here's your band scan showing exactly what we are looking at. The one in the green is uh, exactly what we are looking at, uh, 94.9, as well as other things that are in the market. Uh, we will go over to a band comparison, which is uh, not done so yet. A multiplex, your FFT. Uh, here's an oscilloscope to show what's going on. Stereo quality and a layers you. There is the RDS. Here's a scheduler that you can set up as you're out driving, exactly what you're going to be uh, taking a look at. A log view of what you have and then the GPS. It's all in a very nice compact box. For more information on the Band Scanner 2, give us a call at Broadcast Depot at 305-599-3100 or on the web at 7BD.com or like us on Facebook at Broadcast Depot US.